Dear friends, welcome to the spoken tutorial on logical operators in Bash. In this tutorial, we will learn use of logical and, logical or, logical not using a few examples. To follow this tutorial, you should have knowledge of if else statement, command line arguments, and quoting in Bash. If not, for relevant tutorials, please visit our website which is as shown. For this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 12.04 operating system, GNU Bash version 4.1.10. GNU Bash version 4 or above is recommended for practice. Let us understand the use of logical operators. Logical operators are mainly used to control program flow. Logical operators helps to link two expressions or conditions. They can be a part of if, while or some other control statements. Let us see the syntax of logical AND. Opening square bracket, space, dollar symbol, condition 1, space, closing square bracket, space, ampersand, ampersand, space, opening square bracket, space, dollar symbol, condition 2, space, closing square bracket. Or we can use this syntax, opening square bracket, space, dollar symbol, condition 1, space, hyphen A, space, dollar symbol, condition 2, space, closing square bracket. Logical AND returns true when both condition 1 and condition 2 are true. Let us see the syntax of logical OR. Opening square bracket, space, dollar symbol, condition 1, space, closing square bracket, vertical bar, again vertical bar, space, opening square bracket, space, dollar symbol, condition 2, space, closing square bracket. Or we can use this syntax, opening square bracket, space, dollar symbol, condition 1, space, hyphen O, space, dollar symbol, condition 2, space, closing square bracket. Logical OR returns true when either condition 1 or condition 2 is true. Let us learn the usage of logical OR and logical AND using an example. I have already typed the code in a file named logical.sh. Open the terminal by pressing Ctrl, Alt and T keys simultaneously on your keyboard. Type gedit space logical dot sh space ampersand sign. Press enter. Now type the code as shown here in your logical dot sh file. Let me explain the code now. This is the shebang line. The read command reads one line of data from standard input. Hyphen p display the prompt. String is a variable which stores the text entered by the user during execution. The if statement checks whether the entered string is empty. Hyphen Z checks whether length of string is zero. Type man space test on terminal to explore various other string comparisons. The echo statement will print a message if nothing was entered. If the string is not empty, the program will move to the first LF statement. Here, it checks whether the entered string contains both the words Raj and Jit. If yes, then it echoes out a message. Please note that logical AND is used here. Hence, the message will be displayed only when both the conditions are satisfied. If that is not so, then the program will move on to the second LF statement. Here, it checks whether the entered string contains either Raj or Jit. If yes, then it displays the message. Please note that logical OR is used here. The message will be displayed only when any one of the conditions are satisfied. 
Lastly, we have the default else statement. When all the above statements are false, then this statement will be executed. fi is the end of multi-level if-else loop. Let us execute the program. Switch back to the terminal. First, make the file executable by typing chmod space plus x space logical dot sh. Press enter. Now type dot slash logical dot sh. Press enter. The prompt displays enter a word. I will enter Jitin Raj. The output is Jitin Raj contains both the words Raj and Jit. This means that the control was passed to the second statement and as both the conditions are satisfied, it displays the message. Now let us execute the script again. Press the up arrow key. Go to dot slash logical dot sh. Press enter. The prompt displays enter a word. This time I will enter Abhijit. The output is displayed as Abhijit contains the word Raj or Jit. Please try executing the program with different inputs and observe the output. Let us switch back to our slides. Let's have a look at logical not operator. It inverts the boolean value of an expression, which means it returns true if the expression is false and returns false if the expression is true. The syntax of logical not operator is exclamation mark space expression or opening square bracket space exclamation mark space expression space closing square bracket. Let us see an example. I have already typed the code in a file so I will go to the terminal and type gedit space logical not dot sh space ampersand sign. Press enter. Now type the code as shown here in your logical not dot sh file. This is the shebang line as we already know. Dollar one is the first command line argument passed to the script. Hyphen f checks if the file exists with the same name that was passed as an argument. So, it will return true if the file exists and false if it does not exist. This NOT operator here inverses the returned value, which means if a file of that name exists, the condition will be true. But the NOT operator will inverse its value to false and it will display the message file does not exist. Here, in the else statement, it displays the message file exists. fi marks the end of if loop. Now switch to the terminal. Let me clear the prompt. Let's create an empty file with the name test.txt. Type touch space test.txt. Press enter. Next, make the script executable by typing chmod space plus x space logical not dot sh. Press enter. Now type dot slash logical not dot sh space test dot txt. Press enter. Our shell script will check whether the file exists. Our file test dot txt exists. Hence, the value will be true. Then the logical not will inverse that value and return false. Because the evaluation is false, the else statement is evaluated and the message displayed is file test.txt exists. Try executing the program again with argument test1.txt and observe the control flow as explained before. Come back to our slides. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learned the usage of logical AND, logical OR and logical NOT. As an assignment, check whether the file exists and is executable using logical operators explained in this tutorial. Hint MAN SPACE TEST 
Watch the video available at the link shown below. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials, gives certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at the rate spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the link shown below. The script has been contributed by FOSI and Spoken Tutorial team. This is Ashwini Patil from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.